Good morning. How you doing? Just woke up. But of course, I was inspired after speaking with God about doing a little video on celibacy. Which is interesting because I haven't always been celibate. When I was younger, like I said in a previous video, I would search out um, acceptance, love from beautiful women, and it was always a sexual thing instead of a spiritual thing, of course. I mean, sometimes it got to some level, but it was always at a you know, crash and burn, but, or just walking away or whatever, you know. But celibacy is actually a really important part of your spiritual growth. I found out the hard way, but like I said, mine was just straight heartache and that's what spurred on my spiritual growth because oddly enough, I was so devastated by not being with that person that the thought of being with somebody else made me sick. Can you imagine? Just going on a date with somebody else just the thought of letting somebody else touch me made me sick weird right <clears throat> but yeah it was, <laughs> it was that was a tough one and at the same time I was like you know everybody wants to be loved everybody needs affection and, and you know love and touching and, and they've done studies with children that you know it was a horrible study, but, you know, pick up the children that, you know, children that were held that were, were healthier than the ones, that, you know, that, that's just a horrible experiment, by the way. But it's a, it's a proven fact, right, that the affection, attention, hugs are amazing. Kisses are amazing. These things are awesome, you know, in moderation with the right person. <laughs> or, you know, when your kids give you hugs and stuff like that and kisses, that's something special and wonderful. That's a separate than an intimacy between partners. And one partner is important too. Let's just go there. But yeah, my point was I would never want, I didn't want to hurt anybody. I didn't want to, I'd rather be alone than tell somebody I loved them when I did it. Just so I wasn't alone. So I had somebody I could have sex with or whatever. Get hugs and attention. That's just, that's not cool. And for me, it's been... I'm going I'm thinking eight, nine years. It's it's been a long. <laughs> the, the sad part, I don't know if it's really sad, but it's just at, you know, after a while you just, you know, just learn to live without it and just I don't know. But there's a there's a big old big old butt doing the bump that someday the right person will come along and it will be magical. It's gonna rock. Trust me. When I find the one, when I find my empress, oh yeah, we're going to be moving around furniture. You can believe that. We're going to be locking the doors and people are going to say, call us in a month, right? That's just the honeymoon. <clears throat> so, okay, besides that, it's very empowering. Oddly enough, when you let people into your world sexually or otherwise, it drains your personal power. There's rarely is there a give and take evenly where you exchange energies and one person isn't using the other kind of, kind of thing. So you got to be in there's toxicities and there's, you know, addictions. There's all these other things that go along with the relationships that, and you can only focus on yourself and you can only be responsible for your own actions and the only things that you do. So somebody else in your life that you care about could be just, you know, going off the handle and you got to deal with that. You know what I mean? That's your energy too. So you got to be careful who you let into your world, who do you allow into that inner circle, especially your intimacy circle. I mean, yeah, and it, there's people that do sex magic and all this other weird stuff that, and it's it's negative. It's it's dark. It's not, you know, yeah. I've heard about that, but yeah, I don't I don't buy into that shit. I think you just focus on yourself, focus on the self love, loving yourself as the most important thing in the world. Don't obsess over somebody else. Let them go. Let the situation go. Let God, right? Because if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. Maybe not now. Maybe in, you know, five years. Oh, 
hopefully not that long, but damn, it's already been almost 10 for me. I'm, I'm kind of ready to move on. And that's the thing for me. I'm, I'm starting to heal to the point where I'm ready to be open to another relationship, to love, to intimacy, you know, riding a bike, right? You should, <laughs> it's like riding a bike. I think, uh, I, for me, it's a, the weird part for me being celibate as long as I have is just um, letting somebody in, right? It's just going to be so awkward. I just, it's like I'm a virgin again, you know? It's been classified anyway. But it's important. It's important for your spiritual growth. Unfortunately, you might not want it. I mean, trust me, if you think about it, somebody that's out whoring around compared to somebody who's at home reading a book and trying to grow self spiritually which one do you think sounds better you know it makes more sense more something you would point to it as a positive right you you would say like if you had children you're like that's the kind of person you want to be the person in contemplation trying to figure out where they want to be in the world if they love themselves enough who they're going to be with cuz don't settle that's another thing when you love yourself you cannot settle for anything less than the real thing if you're an emperor and empress and you you've rose to that status in yourself in your heart you're not going to settle for anything less right than the empress or the emperor of your dreams and that's important because you deserve that you deserve to have the emperor the empress of your dreams you don't want those scrubs you don't want those scrubs so anyway love yourself throw on that chastity belt for a minute don't have to actually be one. Just, you know, love yourself enough to where you're not going to be abused by anybody sexually. And let anybody take advantage of you and mistreat you and not appreciate you for the empress and empress that you are. So I'm holding out, baby. But then again, look at this mug. It's going to be tough to love this one, huh? But anyway, I have hope and I'm not giving up. So I love you. I do. God loves you and the universe loves you. And we want the best for you. We want you to be happy. So love yourself. Keep the high ground and do good, okay, baby. Okay. Love and light.